we're gonna start this one in the kitchen, guys. What is going on? So, got some grouper. We're gonna cook it up. We went out with some friends from Ohio, Bob and Mary Beth, and uh, Ellie and I took them out. Ooh, I think we were probably went about 40-ish miles one way. Uh, so, caught a few nice ones. Uh, the bite was a little tricky, but let's take a look at this trip we made. Oh, that bottom lit up the second you guys put it down. First bait down and we are, oh, what happened there, kid? Oh, it came back for it. <laughs> look at you. Okay, stop reeling. All short. That's okay, open your bail and we'll just drop them right on the floor and I'll get them all vented and put back. They're all short. Yep, that's okay. We're gonna try it again. Went down with a 20 pound mainline, 15 pound leader, small hook, little piece of uh, bait. Cause there's a lot of small red grouper here. So we're just gonna see if there's any mangroves. Hopefully this guy doesn't break her off. I have like no energy. I'm so shaky. You need to eat something. That's looking like a little grouper. It had some head shakes, like it might have been a mangrove, but here you go. Got the hook out. If he's typically guys, we're only gonna keep them if they're like 20 and a half, closer to 21 because they will shrink. So on the red grouper, it's 20 inches. Pretty fish. Look at the pinks in them. Go ahead. 22 and a half. Good job. Dad, I have so much. Yeah, that's why I did it. Is it a shovel nose? No, I think it's a big crab, big spider crab. Mm, he's dreaming. Just hold him right there. He's not in the rocks. That's a grouper. Come on, buddy. Try to lift a little higher if you can and reel on the way down. Slipped. He might have rocked you up. Can I feel it? Yeah. I got it. You think he's in the rock? Yep. So like I said, that first 10 feet is so hard to beat these guys, you know what I mean? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pretend like he got away. He's thinking, okay, I'm, uh, I'm free from that. Ooh, nice one. He'll go in the cooler. And then uh, we'll give him a minute or so. If he swims out of there, maybe you can get him. But remember, crank. Okay. That first 10 feet is critical. So why don't you go ahead and pick it up. There you go, kiddo. Oh, open your bail, feed it right back to him. That was a good fish right there. All right, I want you to just gently gather your slack that was taken out by the current. And now start cranking as hard as you can. Crank, 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 crank. Crank, 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 crank as hard as you can. Give it a lift. Did you feel him swimming? Yeah. Probably a Goliath. You got him out, buddy. Come here, Bells. Is he a keeper, Jill? Ooh, she got a nice one, all quiet like. I didn't even know you had a fish. This could be a good one here, guys. Okay, so stop reeling and just swing them to me. Good job, brother. Nice. That's a, medi oh, no. that's a medium sized one, dude. Fish. Nice eating right there. You thought you had us, didn't you? Look at all the scra scrapes on yeah. his, his head from being in the rocks. Took three times, but we got him out. Right. 
Second you hit the bottom, huh? See him yet? Yeah. Ellie's got one. Go, girl. He's probably a big one. No enemy. Little guy. We got some friends down from Ohio, Bob and Mary Beth, and we're trying to get on some grouper, but we kind of hit the tide a little funny. Medium one, L. Oh my goodness. Oh. Keeper. Swing them this way, honey, and open your bell, please. That's a good one, though. That's a very stiff rod, so I can tell you right now that's a good fish. Definitely going home with us. Nice. Ooh. Heck yeah. Did you kick your butt? Good one, buddy. There you go. There you go, buddy. Hell yeah. You like grouper? Uh-huh. Blackened? Yep. That's my buddy Tyson from across the canal. Sometimes he comes over and kicks Ben's butt in video games. Uh, most kids do play a lot of video games. I'm about ready to take that out in the canal itself, though, and drop it in there. But yes, get rid of it. When we were kids... You played with sticks and you hit your brothers a lot. My brothers hit me a lot. They were a lot older. But when we were kids, like, we were bored if we were in the house. Yeah. We weren't outside. That is actually not from one of the grouper that we caught. That is from a grouper that my buddy Mike shot. We went out, did some diving. I might have a clip of it here. So he said, hey, you want that red grouper? I said, absolutely, because I sent all those fillets of all the fish, the snapper and the grouper home to Ohio. With them guys, they had a wonderful time, and Ellie and I also. But I was also talking to my buddy Mike last night, and he said, dude, I wanna try some blackened grouper. What's the best recipe you can come up with? I said, well, what are you cooking? He, he goes, a black grouper. So there's another picture. My Our buddy Joe shot a big black grouper. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some footage or some pictures of that too. But so he's got this blackened stuck in my head. Now that's all I can think about. So we are going to blacken this. My oven doesn't work. We had a huge lightning storm and we lost power. Everything came back on except for the stove. But the top does work. So I don't know. I don't know if it was from the lightning. I was taking a shower at the time. I didn't feel any tingling. Remember as a kid, my mom was always like, everybody out of the tub! When the lightning would hit. I guess, like, like electricity follows water. I don't know, through the pipes. But anyhow, so we're just gonna do it on the, on the stove top here. My light broken on my microwave too. It was non-stop lightning. A little crazy. We've been getting some bad ones. Matter of fact, I hear a rumbling right now. Got another one rolling through. All right, guys, I want everybody in the comment section to be honest. 
who actually really likes the way broccoli or cauliflower smells when you're cooking it? Do you guys? I mean, it depends. It's gross. It smells like somebody farted. There's nothing worse than when you're cooking and you got people coming over and they're like, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> but it's good for you. That's why I like eating it raw. I eat it raw about every day. I'm gonna use some of the Old Bay with blackened season, it says. Go heavy with this stuff. I'm gonna crust it on there really good. Oh, Mike's here. Cool. What kind of blackening season did you say you used? Oh, nice. That's the only thing they have, man, it's good. No, I just, I just want to grab that. Hogfish? That hog. I'll be on my merry way. I'll <laughs> be on his merry way. Hey, big boy. So yeah, that hogfish is amazing. Look at that. There is, the only red in there is from the spear gun. Good stuff, man. Primo filet. Yeah. We had, we had some lionfish last night. It was good, made ceviche. I think I'm gonna try to, to blacken some lionfish. Oh, absolutely, it Just would be to, great. To see what it's, like. it, it's such a delicate meat. You can't, I really, you can't mess that stuff up. Just like you can't mess hogs, hogfish up. Yeah. Sorry, man, I was cooking broccoli too, so it's kind of a mixture of smells in here. Like you got the good smells and then the bad smells. Well, you got. You got a zoo in here. Yeah, you, we do have a you, zoo. Then you got these dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. yeah, those are Steven's dogs. What's up, Nash? Dash and Dutch. What's up, buddies? They're great. And they get along good. Yeah. Oh, man. Get that there on. Ah, I told you guys, these storms are crazy we've been having lately. That's, we've lost our power like 10 times in the last two days. Good thing my bat, oh, and there it is. Maybe my stove will work. Nope. So the black grouper was awesome, huh? It's so funny, I was just talking about you and then you just show up. Oh uh, yeah. How yeah. thick, we're talking nice thick chunk, huh? Yeah. Almost three inches thick. Oh. Alright, you boys wanna eat this? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, yep, yeah, knew it was coming. <laughs> Mike left his windows open in his truck. You should have seen. He shot out of here. Well, the avocado trees are getting watered. I need to get them in the ground. They've been in pots since we moved down here. Those are from Grandpa's trees, you knew that. Grandpa and Dora's house. All right guys, well, this is a quick lunch. Let me say grace real quick. You wanna lose the hat? <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the rain. We appreciate everything you do for us, dear God. We ask your blessing on this food, and in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. It's better than we make it. Better than what? We make it. Well, I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> Oh my word. Blackened is by far one of my favorite ways to eat grouper. Oh man. You wanna try? You were talking about the broccoli? I thought you were talking about the fish. Eat the fish, <laughs> boy! I was dead, dead doing it. And Grandpa. Good. I need to get them out on the boat. What do you think, Ben? I love it. I love it. Look at how white and flaky it is. I like that old bay mm -hmm. with blackening. There it is. I appreciate uh, all you guys watching. Thank you to our friends in Ohio. I hope that fish 
gets passed around to all your friends because they'll like even more after you do that. But uh, I guess until the next one, we're out of here.